Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of City Boys Going Wild, this time from Denmark. Oh, oh here, Victor. Whoa. Out here with my good friend Lawrence, testing our go bags or emergency preparedness bags or whatever you want to call them. This is mine. It's meant to get me out of a shitty situation and into the wild. Well, wild it is over here. Quite stormy as well. They don't have the all men's right uh, over here, but they do have some shelters. And a special episode as well today, because our good friends at Knives and Tools, they contacted us and they provided us with a mystery bag with tools for us to test. What? It's like kids in a candy store. Oh! Oh, Whoa, what, shit. How big is that bag? <laughs> yeah. This is one of the only beaches in Europe where you can drive on. It's gonna be amazing. Do some donuts and then I hope you have donuts. Yeah, so let's uh, let's hike out. <laughs> <laughs> windy as hell uh, not a great idea to do this here but hey now we're here anyway so if you think what are these guys crouching behind the car <laughs> that's the reason um, so I'll show you what's in my, my bag um, let's start off with the most important thing for the weekend <laughs> always have some bacon with you emergency e bacon e emer <laughs> emergency bacon um, so it's a Fjallraven Singi it's a 28 liters uh, it's not that big, but it's for this for these purposes. It's actually perfect. So I have my, my sleeping bag um, My bivy bag and my sleeping pad. Uh, I have an axe to, to cut wood anything that we need gloves to get things out of the fire um, And you always want to have a coffee cup ready whenever you need it on the other side is uh, my grill uh, yep. Geo press water filter. It's a water filter So if whenever we find a creek we can just scoop in the water we press it down We have clear clean drinking water I have a small pillow, which is always good. Mm -hmm. Sleep is crucial. If you don't sleep well, uh, yeah, you can uh, just, uh, I can just go home because uh, nothing uh, good will come from that. Flask, flask, important. Always carry your flask. Uh, I have some food, I'm not gonna show everything, but I have some nuts in there. I have some chocolate from Tony's Chocoloni. More bacon, More probably. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's mainly in here. To toiletry bag, which is actually from KLM. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Some extra food in there. We're gonna find out later if this is actually good or not. Ooh. It looks good on the wrapper, but um, let's see. Then Patagonia pouch, uh, AeroPress Go, coffee grinder, uh, and extra Colombian dark roast. Mm. So a life-saving pouch. So this is the yeah, this is the life-saving pouch. First thing when you do when you wake up. <laughs> Next to that I have the Tokes, it's a large pan with handles and inside is a Twix stove, all titanium, very light um, and uh, you can just put in small twigs and uh, it will uh, help you uh, cook whenever in need. Some uh, cheese, always important. So far it's like 80% of your bag is food. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. Camp loafers. Ooh, yeah, lifesavers. <laughs> yeah. You need these. Definitely. Uh, first aid kit, socks, extra, mm -hmm. extra underwear, some thin gloves to work with. Then inside this pouch, everything, cables, chargers, headlights, um, anything electrical goes in there. Some bug spray uh, and I have a solar powered uh, light, which is always good. We can hold it. <laughs> Just give me a minute, yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> I have a real steel knife, which is always handy. Fixed blade. Fixed blade. Cool thing. Yeah. Neck knife. Do some tiny butchering. 
<laughs> Grill. Just throw it out on the fire. Bake some steaks. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Nice. It it's, sounds like a good filled pack. It's small. It's. Uh, I think we can put this to use this weekend, right? This is actually the minimal I always take, just to be comfortable as well. I mean, you don't want to. Be, you don't want to be out, and. Uh, be uncomfortable and be uncomfortable because why any more you? you want yeah. yeah why would you yeah show me yours Frank. <laughs> mine is a little bit more tactical so most of the stuff in here i wouldn't necessarily take on a bushcrafting go into the forest adventure but more shit hits the van i need some gear that is important uh, so this bag is always ready in my house basic things like a cup a uh, water holder for boiling, drinking. This is a separate pouch I carry on the front, packed with things like um, beef jerky or like a beefy mini. Mm, mm, mm. Here, you want one? An extra knife, cutting food. I keep this clean. It's a Benchmade. Fire steel Sunto compass. Grill water filter. Uh, a boo boo kit and stitch strip. Uh, hand warmers, emergency poncho, some soap and some all purpose mini lotion. Mm. Mm. Uh, also, I have a trauma kit in here, like a, they call it an Israeli bandage, tourniquet for really big wounds. Because we work with axes and, uh, and big knives, so it's always important to have it. And of course, you need the training for it. Emergency blanket, insect repellent and insect aid. So lotions, sprays, whatever, date. Power cord, so this is a thousand uh, calories. This is a thousand calories based on... Um, Pro lots of protein and also like uh, coffee and sugar is extra in there. Um, a uh, towel, emergency blanket or emergency sleeping bag, really tiny. Some uh, gloves, wilderness wash. <laughs> well, <laughs> you always need wilderness wash. We've seen that one yeah. before, Frank. <laughs> That's right. A basic survival kit, like fishing, uh, fishing gear, um, uh, like uh, another sole uh, survival outdoors uh, kit with like an emergency whistle, compass, whatever, um, fire starters, everything is in here. Then I have a really um, advanced first aid and hygiene kit, uh, all with uh, separate pockets and labels. So uh, glues, uh, wound glues, stitches, tools. Some extra socks, backup hat, clean underwear. This is the SIS survival guide. It will, it's tiny, it's really nice. It gives you something to read, but it tells you how to hunt, fish, uh, build shelter, stay alive. Really nice, compact size, waterproof to have in there. Some nuts, a saw, a cooking kit packed with the twig stove, just like Lawrence has. Power banks in here, really big ones with the cables and everything. This is a comms bag, so um, again, power bank, batteries, a backup phone with two SIM cards from different countries, and a transmitter radio. Big tip is keep all your batteries out, because if you keep the batteries in, it will drain it. And there was some backup tools, glass breaker, fire steel, zip locks, a barter bag. So what do I keep in here? So cash, silver, gold whiskey another pocket of whiskey something you can trade with or use for yourself and then the side pouches to finish it off headlight backup knife this is a gerber very strong sturdy one also used in one of the james bond movies a multi-tool is it a leatherman leatherman wingman nice always good to have <coughs> oh whoa, oh whoa. the scent some, some wipes <laughs> face mask you never know when you need it. So that's pretty much my kit. All of this crap should be enough to get us through uh, the coming weekend. Let's drive out, hike out and search for that shelter. Uh, and I hope it's warm because it's pounding wind again, but it's a beautiful area. So let's cut to the aerials and go to the shelter. <laughs> it's like a hobbit village. Wind strength 8 or 9. It's storm, it's storm today. Oh. Yeah, and we're in the middle of an open field. Yeah, it's actually, it's really cozy. 
I mean, it's very nice people built this, uh, just for people passing by. This is going to be the Hilton Hotel setup, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for the amount of money that these <laughs> items were sold, we could have might as well booked the Hilton. While we're at it, Lawrence, I have a new belt knife. <laughs> It's a real steel as well. What I like about this one is, uh, once again, not so tactical. But it's a very well made knife. So I would like to put that to the test this weekend. Very nice. Yeah, I think mine is just a little bit bigger, but not that much. No, you're, it, yeah, it's uh, thicker. And there's yeah. already brie on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah. would suggest um, that it's time for us to open our care package from our friends at Knives and Tools. And let's see if there's anything that can help us with making fire. What do you think? Yeah, good idea. I'm really excited. Yeah, let's open it up. <laughs> the review shack. Yeah. yeah. French, <laughs> French <laughs> review shack. <laughs> yeah. It was a big surprise for us. Yeah. We are not getting paid to talk about any of this. They just said, hey, uh, sure. you guys, we like the adventures, keep going. Yeah. Uh, we have some tools for you guys that you might like or can put to the test. Yeah, it, it, already <laughs> looks, it already looks good. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh nice. number two. Oh, it feels oh, like shit. oh nice, yeah. Ooh, oh, that's a thousand lumens. What do we have here? Oh, good. Oh, life straw. Nice. So this um, could potentially save your life, right? You can drink water out of a stream. It's a must have in a go bag. Right? That's right. So uh, it uh, fits the topic of today. <laughs> Bam! It's like like everything is on there. Fire steel, knife, orange color so you don't lose it. Yeah. Oh! Hey, fat wood! wood. Hey. <laughs> we'll need it today, yeah. for sure. Boom! Ooh! Ne neck knife? A neck knife? Does that go with my rape whistle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! A hey. cleaver! Uh, first aid kit. Paracord for tying knots if you know any knot. Oh, 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 the new colors. Oh, that's nice. Goma curve. Sharp as a razor. Oh, oh, oh what shit. The, how big yeah. is that bag? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like a magic going. bag. It's like shit yeah. coming out. What did we do to What's deserve that? this? Oh, wow, guys. But what? That's no one. Nice. Two. Oh, nice. But, oh, oh. Good. Tactical pen, fire steel, Swiss blade, little Swiss blade. It's cute. Micro cord. It's paracord, but small. Bar, bar. <laughs> Hey, but guys, this is insane. That's insane. We will keep bringing more people on our trips. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this will be of great use for yeah, everyone. That's right. Yeah. Lawrence, I do um, uh, have to <laughs> confess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew it. <laughs> I confiscated something. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. What is that made yeah. of? I don't know, but it looks cool. And one more thing. Look what this oh, is. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I solved one problem. So if you order a flask... Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but I seriously can't believe you kept that. Uh, that's not for me. <laughs> okay, and I have to confess that this was in there. Ah. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll, we'll, we'll have to think of something for you to do in order for yeah. you to keep that. Okay, okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be disgusting. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to okay, be Okay, deal, because yeah. I like it yeah? so much. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going to think of something. <laughs> yeah, thanks, to, uh, knives and tools. tools. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Have some more. Yeah, nice, thanks. <laughs> I can feel this already. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's damn dirty. It's yeah, never, we didn't sleep yet. We didn't sleep, huh? It's my day, it's weird. <laughs> This is the last night for us, guys. Cheers. It's toch wel lekker, maar ik vraag me af. Als je hierna nog eentje hebt, of die dan lekkerder is of niet? Ja, ik weet het denk ik niet. Moeten we zo meteen proberen. Laten we eerst even die shots doen. Ja, ja, ja shots. Ja. Ja. <laughs> Vijf minuten in Frank's review chat. <laughs> Maar in mijn moeder kijkt dit niet. Dat is echt relaxed. Even die laatste shots erin, Frank. Video shots, hè? Cheers. Cheers. So I, I came up with something. I know you have one knife on your belt and you've already claimed it. So I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna give you an option. But uh, I don't like yeah. where this is going. You can keep the knife. 
knife. <laughs> if yeah. you drink two shot glasses of the sausage meat, meat sweats. <laughs> no, no. I want to see. I want to see the. You know the knuckwurst. I want to see you drink the knuckwurst. You are a sick bastard. How did you come up with this? Uh, I don't know. You told Why? me you had knuckwurst. Well. <laughs> I will have a shot of this. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, cheers, uh, oh. Lawrence. Uh, dog sweat. Bottoms up. Oh, it's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> <It's neat. laughs> You're such a swine. I actually just like it. It's just like meaty. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with this. It's meaty, salty. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna bake them. You want yeah. some sauce? Yeah, of course too. Let's go, yeah. Craig. Yes. How did you sleep? I slept well, actually. Uh, yeah, I could hear that. You, you could hear it? Yeah. <laughs> you got down some trees, didn't you? Yeah, 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 for sure. No, I slept until, like, I woke up at 1. We went to bed quite early. So I woke up at 1, felt the heartburn from the Jackie D. <laughs> yeah. I should never have taken a shot and then lay down so yeah, soon after. <laughs> 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 then I woke uh, and then I slept until five, uh, and uh, yeah, I just came back from the outhouse, so yeah. and that was nice. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah, sun's rising, so uh, yeah. What's the mission here, Lawrence? Uh, we're looking for a nice piece of forest uh, to get some sticks for the camp snack. Ooh, let's go. Quite biodiverse here. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. You have the, the dunes, like the meadow and the forest. <laughs> bear, bear. Oh, oh, here, Hector. Whoa, whoa, what's fat here? You know, the sun's out, it looks warm, but it actually feels like minus five. And when you think, yeah, guys, I don't believe you. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold as balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! I mean, look at this. Denmark, fucking beautiful. Uh, cool. You have everything. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of the X, Frank? This is nice, nice size. Gonna try the little one after, but I like this size. It's 
all uh, all dead standing so don't worry we're not cutting out live trees this is directly a favorite trap wax i have to say it still has the same heft but it's much lighter to carry sharp sharp as a nail uh, and it's so easily packable uh, and the color I like the looks <laughs> everything is about <laughs> everything about looks I st I'm still a city yeah. boy at heart right <laughs> Are you ready for a professional gear review? <laughs> Let's put this knife to the test. First, the Benchmade. How quickly does it cut? Wow, it's like butter. Very sharp, very sharp. I give it an eight. It's the real steel. Wow, give it an eight. And now the Mora, all in one knife. Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> give it a 9. Oh, what? And seeing it's an all-in-one, I give it a 10. A 10 for <laughs> cutting open pre-packaged wood coming from the store, City making us look cool. City boys going wild. City boys going wild! <laughs> Mm. Oh, look, look at that gold. Oh, man. shit. It's actually working. Yeah, it's going to be good. If it comes off the stick, at least. <laughs> the bread on the stick, campfire snack, and 11. It's insane. It's it's crusty, um, it's fluffy, it's smoky, it's amazing. Wow, why didn't we bring this all the previous trips? This will be in my go bag every time. Yeah, and besides, it's, all, it's, it's, it's good tasting. It's also a nice activity. Yeah. It's just very relaxing, rewarding after a hard day's yeah. work. It's fun to do. Definitely, it's almost like fishing, but better. Yeah, faster reward. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> What a day. Oh. I rate this day. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna come up with a rating one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what do you rate the sleep? How do you rate the sleep setup, Lawrence? <laughs> so warm, nice, finally. I'm looking forward to the Dubai episode as well. Yeah, Dubai, Namib Namibia. Namibia. <laughs> Somewhere warm. Cozy, but Alaska will be uh, the goal as well. I was just realizing earlier tonight that we're so lucky to be doing this. Just yeah, going out, making whatever you, whatever you love. It's insane. Just enjoying being outdoors. Good morning, Sir Lawrence. How was your sleep? Oh, slept like a baby. Mm. Mm. Danish fresh glacier wind. <laughs> Amazing night. Like the candles actually worked. Uh, closed off, no wind coming through, lots of candles, one is still burning. It was a uh, a very good night and the, uh, the skylight is amazing on my side the geese flying over <laughs> eagles coming by um, a falcon i saw yeah uh, yeah sure, dinosaurs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everything <laughs> I actually feel really warm now. 
and alive, fresh. Wim Hof taught me well. Are you blowing on it or sucking? Oh, I squirted it up. <laughs> it's really not bad. Actually, you should taste it. That's <laughs> still the same. <laughs> what the f oh. And it's the first thing I'm actually tasting this morning. That's horrible. Sausage your butter. So. What? No. Yeah? Oh, that's a hard no. That's what? a hard bag. Really? Yeah. Oh, that tastes like shit. Well, that's it for Denmark. Amazing adventure again. Beautiful, beautiful country. Really flat, flat just like the Netherlands. Uh, quite similar in some areas. A lot of uh, flatlands, but the natural shelters were very cool. I have to say, maybe a little bit less adventurous, but it was very cool to try out. Uh, likewise, I think uh, it's uh, beautiful surroundings, different than a forest, but still uh, uh, a good uh, adventure. The beach was beautiful, I think, founding some uh, wild deers. Uh, spotting the pond, uh, your car battery died. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Did you leave your uh, phone charging in my ca in the car? Again, at least, or? My, at least my phone was charged the whole weekend. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> um, really looking forward to what next uh, next episode will bring. Yeah. So let us know, guys, where should we go next? Yeah. Um, what should we bring? What should we test? What should we eat? Definitely not the eggs anymore. This was a different style of an adventure as the previous ones. I hope you still enjoyed it. Uh, we definitely did, so now screeching tires home, charge up our batteries again and then go out for the next trip. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. See you next time, later!